Hi, this is Richard. We're doing another Blender Quick Tip. We're going to be talking about splitting and ripping. What the heck are those? Well, we've got our basic cube here from a new file. I just gave it a quick color to make it a little more exciting. I know how wonderful staring at the gray all day can be. So, splitting and ripping. Well, that's V and Y in edit mode. So we're in edit mode, and let me turn on screencast keys. Let's just select this edge here. We're gonna hit V first to rip. And I'm gonna rip this edge apart. And now, after I do that, I've actually got it grabbed. Like I press G and see, it just split, rips it apart, rips it off of there so that I can then move it around. And now you can see it's not ripped. We hit V and now it is ripped. That's ripping. And if I right click like I just did, it's still ripped. So you have to control Z a couple of times to connect it back if you mess up. Splitting, if I hit Y to split, well, you're not really gonna use that with an edge. So let's switch to face, faces. I'm gonna grab this whole face, it's connected. I'm gonna hit Y and I just split it from the whole geometry. Control Z and I put it back. That's basically all there is to it. So let me show you a little bit more. Select all that guy and let's get rid of it. Let's make it a UV sphere. All right. So if you hit V on a full face, you can't do it because it's a full face. You can't rip it off. You'd have to split it off. So we use rip with edges and vertices like this. See now. I have ripped it apart where there was just two edges here between these three verts. Now there's four edges. You can use this, especially uh, if you're making a face and you're not drawing the topology out yourself. You're starting from like you're doing box sculpting. It's a good way to make a mouth, good way to make eyes. You just rip it. That's V. There we go. And then we've got some eyes in this UV sphere. Creepy. And then you can do it with edges as well. But watch what happens. I have this one selected. It rips it. And also the closer, the closest two as well. Okay, so that's great. We ripped and ripped. And then split, of course. Takes the whole thing off. So that is ripping and splitting. Hopefully you can work those into your workflow and it'll help you out with a couple problem areas that maybe you've had, uh, which is probably why you found this video in the first place. That's how I use them, V and Y. Just think of it like V is to rip and then Y looks like a V <laughs> to split. Uh, and remember, you can't really use that with edges. It's splitting whole faces. And the other difference is that you don't automatically grab something after you split it. Like with uh, ripping, I hit V and then I have it grabbed until I hit right click to leave it in its original spot or left click to drop it where it's grabbed. But with splitting, it just splits it apart and leaves it alone. See why, and then I, I don't have it grabbed, so then I have to move it myself. All right, that's it. Real quick one this time. Thank you for watching. You have a good day, and uh, see you in the next video.